What is up guys and welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm the Why Not Gamer and guys today we're hoping to get to the fourth gym and take on Flannery. Let's do a quick team recap. If you guys missed out, we got our boy Zeus the Dragonite with us with the ability Magma Armor, Strength, Twister, Thunder Wave, and Dragon Rage. He's a super powerful Pokemon. I'm so glad we have him on the team. And then we got Trip, our starter, the Doug Trio, with Tri Attack, Scratch, Dig, and Magnitude. And he's rocking the Trace ability. Then we got our boy Marvin, the Ivysaur, with Inner Focus, Needle Arm, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Tackle. Our boy is the best at catching Pokemon. He helps us out a lot. And then we got Squidward, our powerhouse, Bubble Beam, Aurora Beam, Hydro Cannon, Psy Beam. And he's rocking Static Ability, which comes in handy all the time. Then we got our boy Trey's. Um, he is the Electric Steel type Magneton with Shadow Tag, Spark, Ember, Metal Sound, Thunder Wave. And then we got our girl Nuzly just chilling with us, helping us out with the HMs. Alright guys, we got a lot of battling to do today. Hopefully we make it to the gym. If we hurry, maybe we can. I think this guy might battle us. Oh, sweet. Got a TM. Is it really Thief? It's going to be randomized a bit. Oh, nope, it's actually Thief. We don't really have any Dark types. We don't really need that right now. So let's just keep moving on. Here's a battle here. We still need to catch up Zeus. He's still a little behind. I think this next gym is level 28. So we, we're... Everyone else is like right there. But he's just a little behind still. But he's close. And he's getting real powerful. So he'll help us to get through battles very quickly. The, he's still higher than these guys. So he's still pretty decent level. Oh boy Zeus. Let's grab this item. Sacred Ash. I think Sacred Ash revives Pokemon. Well, let's check it out quick, because I can't quite remember what it does. It should be right down here. Yep, fully revives and restores all faint Pokemon. Well, we're not going to be able to use that, guys. Maybe it'll sell for a lot, um, because the Nuzlocke says once a Pokemon dies, it's dead for good. We can't use it anymore in the game. So it won't have any use to us. We can't use it. Two Dragon Rage is off here, should be good. Dragon Rage is still a pretty powerful move. If you don't know what it does, it takes away 40 damage automatically every time. So as long as we're kind of a low level, that's a lot of HP for low level Pokemon. I mean, even Zeus would die to two shots of it, and he's a fully evolved Pokemon. Ooh, Suicune. Now here's a Legendary. Um, he's a water type, so I'm gonna go into Marvin. I don't think he knows any ice type moves at this low of a level. But look at that beautiful beast. Man, I'd love a sweet cute. Yeah, I'd love it if we had a sweet cute on the team. But he should probably go down. Ooh, man, holds on. Ten levels lower. Super effective. But we got the flinch with the needle arm. There we go. Atta boy Marv. Marvin's getting close to evolving. We're gonna have a Venusaur pretty soon. Do, 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 do. Nancy. The, ooh, with the Croknaw. I love Croknaw. Totodile, Croknaw are awesome Pokemon. Oh, man. And for Alligator, those guys are... That's my favorite Gen 2 starter right there. One of the first Pokemon I probably ever had. One of my favorites by far. Snorlax, also sweet Pokemon. Ooh, I forgot they have Intimidate. Shoot, Snorlax is a beast on this game with Intimidate, lowering your your attack. So, Snorlaxes normally have a lot of special defense, so they're really good at tanking special defense moves, but with its Intimidate, it's lowering your attack, which it's normally kind of weak against, so it really helps out for him. That's, that's a good Snorlax right there. If we can get one of those, man, he'd help out the team a lot. Um, here we're going to have a double battle. Who's with him? We have Trip. These two make a good duo. Oh, guys, this is a new route, and we got a Ponyta. Man, I keep forgetting. A good thing I remember right as we encounter the Pokemon. This would be bad. Um, let's hit a Dragon Rage. I'll take it down. Oh, perfect. Red health. And then let's go into Marvin. May as well. Oof. Well, maybe not. I think we can catch it with just a Pokeball, so I don't think we have to worry about it. 
We'll throw a great ball. I don't think we need to use Marvin today. One, two, three. Ponyta on the team. What are we going to name this flaming horse? Ooh, let's name him. Let's name him Scorch. Because he's going to he's gonna scorch you. Scorch. Scorch the horse. Sweet. He might actually be a good one to have on the team. I mean, we don't have any fire-type Pokemon, so... He might be one that we can end up having on our team. Okay, let's go ahead and do this double battle real quick. Pupitar and Slowking. Oh, pretty powerful Pokemon. Kind of scared of that Slowpoke a little bit. That Slowking, I mean. But I think we're going to be okay. I think we just Strength there and Magnitude here. That should take out... Yeah, we got him. That was powerful Magnitude. Almost took both of them out. I hope we get Earthquake for him. He'll be super powerful with him. Well, thanks, dude, for the berry. I think they're... Oh. Oh, this is that chick. Oh, she gave us a little doll. A Lotad doll. Cool. It's like when those baseball players make diving catches and they go... Oh, and Kingdra. Kingdra's dragon types. This should be super effective. Twister. Oh, yeah. Big damage. Fortunately, I don't think he has a dragon type move. If he did, he'd probably have Twister, but we got him. Ooh, a Zapdos. Let's switch out for the Zapdos. Zapdos can be pretty scary. There's not a lot good against Zapdos. He really only is weak to ice and rock, and we don't have either of them on the team, but his electric type moves aren't going to have any effect on Trip, so I think we'll be able to kill him pretty easy with Tri-Attack. Pretty strong peck. I mean, it is a Zapdos. Oh, but we got the crit. Took him down. Nothing too scary here. Man, we're lucky we're still really overleveled for right now. I mean, until we hit the gym, really, we're not overleveled for the gym. And we haven't been grinding or anything. It's just been... We've been battling some powerful Pokemon, so it's made us level up very quickly. Lickitung. Be easy. Oh, Paralysis. Man, I don't like to see the Paralyze there. That's why. Man. Come on, get through it. Come on, Zeus. You're, you're the Lord of the Thunder. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Shouldn't even be able to get paralyzed. You're the one tossing the lightning bolts, dude. Okay, let's cure him of that with a paralyzed heal. Let's also, I think we have a potion still. Oh yeah, we do. There it is. Let's use that up. Then let's keep moving forward. As they say in Nemo, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Or as they say on the Robertsons, keep moving forward. Is that what they say? Something like that. Meet the Robertsons. Dun dun dun. dun. Ooh, a Pikachu! What's up, dude? Pikachu's so cute. So weak, though. And a Lunatone. We don't got anything good against Lunatone there. Let's go into Marv. Marvin's grass typing should destroy the rock. Boom. See a Bernie? I think his name is Bernie. Yep, Bernie. Oh, just missed out on a double battle. Oh, well. A Muck. Man, I hate Muck. The last Muck we fought kind of scared me a little bit. It was pretty powerful. But this one's not doing anything because we got Zeus, the Lord of the Thunder. He's too strong. A loud red. Nothing to worry about there. Running out of strengths, though. And there's Angelina. Torkoal. I like Torkoal. It's sad that he doesn't evolve. I mean, I've always liked Pokemon better if they evolve. I mean, it's always cooler to see him like, go through a change and become more powerful. But sadly, Torkoal doesn't even... I still love him. He's a cool Pokemon. I even had him on a recent playthrough I did. Pretty sure... 
It was a grass type. Yeah, Weeping Bell. Got the Ember. Boom. One shot. But yeah, I wish I wish he could evolve. I mean, that would make him a lot cooler. They did make him better in the new games by giving him the ability Sunny Day. So, I mean, not Sunny Day. I mean, it's called Drought. The ability Drought, which makes it when he comes out onto the battlefield, the sun also comes out. It's the original ability of the, the legendary Pokemon Groudon. That's what made him really, really good. But they decided to give it to him as well, which made him a lot better. I mean, helps out with his not two great offensive stats gives him a little bit of a physical presence he also gets some cheesy moves like yawn that'll make him be able to put put you to sleep very easily and stuff like that so i think there's an item up here oh new route new route vaporeon sweet vaporeon has a lot of hp you should be able to take this oh yeah oh yeah this one guys i think we're gonna have to pull out marvin we want this Vaporeon. Vaporeon's a good Pokemon. Let's see if we can't just get it with one Great Ball. Here we go. One. Oh man, this one's gonna be tough. Vaporeon's good. I don't know if I dare tackle it again. He's such a low level. Let's try another ball. Man, this guy's giving us more trouble than Dragonite did. Oh, let's put him back to sleep. There we go, there we go. My boy Marvin, way to have that keen eye not missing. Here we go, here we go. Another great ball. Come on, cross your fingers, hold B, hold B. One. Man, this Vaporeon not, does not want to be caught. Man, let's use a Pokeball. Maybe it just wants a Pokeball. Man, nothing. Let's lower our accuracy. That's not good. Do we have anyone that can hit him one more time? The not very effective hit. I mean, Trey could, but I don't know if I dare. He's too powerful. He's too powerful. Hmm. Let's, let's try one more time. Before we give up on him, let's, let's try one more, one more time, put him to sleep. Here we go. <sighs> Getting the ball, Vaporeon. Two, three, boom, got him. Man, that Vaporeon was hardcore. Yes, we're giving you a nickname, and you're gonna be the Vape Lord, dude. You're Vape Vape Lord. Getting some good Pokemon on the team. I mean, we already have Squidward for a water type, but you never know. Vape Lord could come in. We could have two water types. It's no big deal. Max Elixir. Wow, that might come in handy. Uh-oh, Team Magma. I think this is the first appearance that Team Magma makes there. They're the other bad bad team on this game. There's two of them. We've already met Team Aqua. And their leader is Archie. He's right here. He's the one talking to us. And then Maxie's the leader of Team Magma. Right now, they're going to go and, like, have a big epic battle on the mountain. And we're going to chase them down there. Oh, this one was level 17. Man, we got a level 14 one. We got gypped. All right, let's quickly run back to the Pokemon Center. Oh. Make our way over to Mount Chimney. Ooh, Ampharos, man. That would have been dupes, so we probably were stuck into getting Ponyta. There we go. We're all healed up. Let's go buy a few more Great Balls. You never know, guys. We kind of used a lot right there. Let's get a few more. 
Just so we don't forget about next time. Get 11 of them. 15. And let's rush over to the mountain. I think we have a Pokemon that has... Oh, I think that was our other Pokemon. He had the stench ability. Oh, right there. Let's put Nuzly up front. Just... Oh... Uh... Let's not, because he'll just get one shot and killed. We don't we don't wanna we don't wanna throw her out there just to die. We'll just speed run away through all these Pokemon. Oh, here's a Pokeball we missed. Didn't see that one. Oh, soda pop. Man, we already have soda pops. Then it'd be nice if we could find a Master Ball or something. Hint, hint game. Come on. Randomizes something good. Too many Goldeen. Oh man, we could have got a Mudkip here. Oh man. Mudkip's so good. Gotta get the stupid Goldeen. That must be like the, the Skarmory. Normally in that place you find Spindas and Skarmories, and Skarmories are a little more rare. So it must be Skarmory. We got replaced with Mudkip. Caught the Flaffy last time we were here. I've already seen two of its three evolutions in the wild. That's pretty crazy. Alright. Here we go, up to Mount Chimney. Whee! And here they are, battling it out. The two teams, opposites. The lava and the water. Look at... Archie the Beast taking on three people at once. That little guy's working really hard, that little Puccina. Double battle, we'll go right into it. Chansey and a Gligar, huh? Let's go strength on the Gligar. Use magnitude, even though it's not gonna hit two of them. But it'll take out the Chanseys, you know. And we'll get a try attack and a strength off here. And we should, oh, yeah. Easy game. Hey, and Zeus is almost caught up. He's only one level away, honestly. Sweet. He caught up fast. Now him and Marvin, even. Marvin needs some love. Tabitha. That looked like a boy to me. That didn't look like a girl. Gramble. Man, Zeus is doing a lot of damage. Boom. And another Torkoal. You know what? We haven't seen Squidward today. Let's get let's get some Squidward action in here. Water type. Take out that fire type with ease. Metacham, fighting type. We don't have a flying type, but Zeus is a flying type. He just doesn't have any flying type moves. He'll be able to handle this, though, easy. Ooh, Mind Reader. Fetch. Protecting yourself? Come on. Don't be scared. It's just Zeus, the god. Benet. That is a ghost-type Pokemon. Let's get Marvin in there. Maybe Marvin we can get level 28 here. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Just go with the Needle Arm. Boom. See a Tabitha. And here we go, our first battle with one of the leaders. And we're gonna be starting it up with Maxi. Come on, dude. I don't really wanna talk to you. Just battle me. Oh, baby little Ella kid. Oh, so cute. Boom. Dead. Zeus. Electro. Wow, he's an electric type guy. He's not a fire type like he's supposed to be. Dude, I'll take on an Electrode. We gotta be careful, though. He might explode. That could be fetching scary. Oh, man. Yeah, terrified. Terrified. I'm switching out. We're gonna go into Trey. Trey can take an explosion. Oh, man. Now he might not be able to. He, he can take it. One more. Oh, my gosh. This guy's freaking me out here. Oh, yes. That'll... He's now burned, so his attack is now halved. So let's just heal up here. 
If he explodes, he explodes. Oh well. It shouldn't kill us. Not at full HP with a burn on him. Soda pop up. Man, this guy. Scared. What are you pulling out all these super potions for? Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't like this. Okay, okay, we're good. No, ah. Uh. Man, we're so lucky he didn't explode there. I, I don't know what level he learns to explode, but could have been any time. Kind of terrifying. Let's go back into Zeus, though. Dustox is not going to do much to us. He's level 25. That's pretty high. Only three levels higher. With the crit, man, that did nothing, even though it was a crit. Zeus animal. Archie, don't act like you're my friend, dude. I know you're just as bad as they are. Man. Guy faking on us, just trying to, like, make us think he's on the good guy side. I think there's maybe an item over here. I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item over here, but I don't know where exactly it's at. I don't know why else there'd be this giant empty space over here. Oh well. I tried. Now we're right next to the gym. Man guys, we're gonna be cutting it close. Might have to have the gym battle in the next episode. Create dill eat grass rock time. Oh shoot, it probably is rock move. Thank goodness. Scared myself there. Didn't want a rock move coming in on him, but we're good. Umbreon. Just with a couple dragon rages. Boom. And Zeus is now our highest level Pokemon. We do not want Slam. Slam is worse than strength, and it has worse accuracy, so I really don't want to see it. Let's get Squidward up front. Zeus is demolishing everyone too fast. I mean, not too fast. It's a good thing, but... Ooh, this guy. This is where your base is going to be, huh? Thanks for letting me know. Squidward! Psybeam. Seal. Man, they, they couldn't think of a better name to give this poor Pokemon but Seal, which it is a seal, so they just named it after an actual animal. And a Flareon... Easy money with Flareon, let's blast its butt. Boom! Hydro Cannon Power. Thanks for telling me that's your hideout, dude. Zubat, should be easy one shot. Boom. Oh, we already grew level. Let's get that switch into Marvin, who has the double super effective move on this guy. Rock and water does not do well against grass. And horsey, another water type, does not do well against grass. Gotta know your typings, guys. It's very important in this game. We got a double battle up here, but first let's grab this. Another elixir. Man, we, we found a ton of elixirs and stuff in, in this run, guys. It's pretty crazy, actually. All right, let's go trip with Marvin. Dawn fan and swine up. Well, these guys shouldn't be too strong. Let's just dig, dig there, and throw out the need alarm on Dawn fan, which probably one shot it. Yep, one shot it. Sweet scent. Nah, to be honest, I don't want sweet scent. Could help us out sometime, but I don't I don't really like sweet scent. It's kinda gonna be worthless. Take up one of our spots. We already have some spots that we don't wanna have taken because he's our catching boy, so don't really have space on him to be putting random moves. Igly buff, the little baby baby Pokemon. Sorry, dude. Oh, another Swine. Wow, that's like 
two in the last four Pokemon. Boom. Man, I love Tri-Attack. It looks so cool. Alright, guys. Here we are. Well, I guess not quite. We gotta walk a few more steps the other way. What does this guy want? Oh, nothing. Lava Ridge Town. Da -da -da, da -da. All right, guys. And in case you didn't know, our boy, why not the mascot to the channel? This is where you first get him. This old lady, I think, over here gives you an egg, and in that egg is why not. Now, on this game, it's randomized, so we're not gonna be able to get why not unless crazy odds. I mean, I guess it could happen, but probably won't. But I want to see definitely what it's going to be. So right now, I don't think we really need Nuzleaf for the second. So let's just go get the egg quick. Blah, 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 blah. Hopefully it'll be something real good, guys. That'd be super awesome if it's something really good. All right. I think dude, we just healed up, right? So we should be good to head into the gym. And we can get a few battles done. We can get pretty... Pretty close to Flannery, and we'll end the episode there. We'll battle Flannery in the next episode. Ooh, a Diglett, a baby me, or a baby baby trip. And a loud red. A loud red is gonna go down to a powerful magnitude. Boom. These guys really were fire type trainers. Man, Trip would walk all over them. Wouldn't even have to worry. This guy doesn't even look like a fire type trainer. Dude, oh, water type. Yeah, don't want none of that. Let's go trade though. Trade wants that. Nothing. Boom. We have such a good, well-rounded team, guys. I know I say it a lot, but, man, we have a good, rounded team. This is going to be an easy one. Man, a lot of Pokemon have had stench ability. It's like the second one I've seen in this episode. Plus Nuzleaf, so that's three. To be honest, I do not remember where you're supposed to go. I mean, I'll figure it out pretty quick, but... No idea. Boom. Boom. Can't touch this. Da, na, 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 can't touch trip. I guess first of all, we'll just find out which holes we can't go down anyway. Oh man. Dude, you gotta get the stronger ones. There we go. That's a little better. Fetch. Man, it's interesting how. Even if he's a ground type and he can't get hit by electric moves, he can still be paralyzed by like a glare. I don't think they should be able to be paralyzed at all. I mean, it's ground. I mean, electricity should just go to the ground. I don't care if it's static, electricity, or whatever the heck it is. That is not a good matchup. Let's go into Trey. Let's go into Marvin. Oh, good thing we didn't go to Marvin. This guy's got ice. Boom. Trey with the one shot. Trip level 30. Man, I didn't even notice he got to level 29. The guy's shooting up. Get Trey up front. Throw him in the back. There we go. That solves that one. Ooh, an Articuno. Good thing we got Trey up front. I think this is the second Articuno we've seen. Oh, man. <laughs> got frozen. I don't think we have a... Did I buy one? I don't think it gave me the option to buy a freeze heal. Do we have a berry? Nah, we don't have a berry. We're just going to have to wait it out. I don't think he can do anything to us, so... Oh, defrosted first turn. We're good. Big level for Trey there. God, this guy rocking the Articuno in this heat, man. Poor thing. Probably suffering. Usually lives in an ice cave and then throwing it out in this heat. Oh man, confusion sucks. Man, come on, Trey. 
Don't want none of that tree. Boom, there we go. Let's get Zeus back up front. Started the episode with Zeus. Let's end the episode with Zeus. I think it's actually this middle one. I want to say the one you think it is is... It's got to be that one, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. And there it is. You know what? You know what? Let's battle her. We'll make this episode a little bit longer. Who cares, guys? The hype is real. Here we go. Let's heal up a little bit. Oh, where's the... We have the paralyzed heal. There we go. And then, just in case, we will top him off. You know what? We'll go head first. Let's go in with our boy Trey. I feel like he's really good defensively, so... I think he'll be a good one to have up front. Welcome, no wait, puny trainer. How good to see you've made it here. I've been entrusted with no wait. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall, uh, demonstrate the hot moves we've honed on this land. Da -da -da -da. And she even has fiery hair. Ooh, a Swallet. Swallet shouldn't be able to do anything to us, so I think we're fine to just spark here. Ooh, setting up the Amnesia. That sucks. It's going to take us a few more hits now, but other than that... Okay, I planned on using that anyway. Man, get paralyzed, dude. Yeah, poison gas doesn't affect me. I plan on using Spark. It's my strongest move. <laughs> Can't touch us. That was just a waste of time. Ooh, a Squidward's coming out. And you know what? That's an unfair battle right there. Trey taking down her octillery very easily. A Cradilly. That's that rock and grass or yeah, rock and grass typing that I was talking about earlier. Um Who's going to be best? We don't have anyone that really easily can take them out. I don't think it's going to have a grass move. So I say we go for Squidward. I want to say just... I think Rock... I don't think Ice is going to be super effective. So I just say we go with the Bubble Beam here. Oh, dang... It changes type. Beam. It has color change. So let's hit it with the side beam now. Oh. Man, this thing's going to be annoying. We got to get it close enough. Oh, man. Oh, it's not very effective. Oh, I just used... That was dumb of me. That was very dumb of me. Let's use a bubble beam now. So we got to switch it up every time. Now it's a water type. We got to go back to the side beam. Then I think we can just blast it. Even if she heals here, this is going to be a big hit. Yep, there it is. Oh, he missed! Dude, you choked. No, it's okay. Alright. The only move it's going for is Acid, so I'm just going to switch into Trey. It doesn't affect him. And we do have Ember. Well, let's just metal sound him quick. Let's lower that defense. Special defense. A few times. He can't do anything to us, so we're good. Hit him with a few Embers. Oh, serious? Oh, yeah, he was a water type. I keep forgetting he has that. Boom. Trey, level 30. Doing work for us this round. Killing all three. We're going to stay in. Victory Bell. Man, he, she's now a grass type gym leader. Trey's going to hold it out for us. He's going to boom with the crit finish. Trey pulling it out for us, sweeping her team. Hardly took any damage, too. Did get a little help from Squidward in there. 
and Flannery is down. And we received the heat badge, guys. It's a good battle, but we're still just too powerful for these guys. They need to start pulling out some legendaries. I mean, knock on wood, I don't want that to happen. Don't want to lose this, but at the same time, there you have it. We got the win. We got a few new Pokemon this episode. Everyone's growing levels. Zeus is now caught up with everybody. It's looking good for the team. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave a comment. Tell me what, if you like Flannery, what is your favorite gym leader, guys? Let me know, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.